Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another animation look through. This one is for episode 187, the fourth stop motion special of the Sergio Show. Okay, so this was 2019. Uh, I bought this editing software that had a feature where you can make stop motion animation and had some stop motion tools. And this was one of the two or three, uh, yeah, three episodes of the show where I use um, that software uh, program to make stop motion animation. It's good. It, it, it gave me the tools that I needed to really understand stop motion animation a lot more instead of what I, the previous ways that I've mentioned, the previous videos that I've done talking about my experience with stop motion animation. So, so yeah, this was uh, the first and it was fun. I, uh, the tools really helped. And as you, you're going to see through the episode, there are some dynamic, uh, things I finally got to, to do thanks to the help of, uh, specifically that stop motion feature of the editing software. As you can see, this, the thing that's still an issue is the gosh darn light flickering. Um, it has onion skin, but I, the onion skin would not show me lighting, you know, just like the previous frame of the, of the, uh, not drawing, but obviously the frame of the pose you know but at least i got to make the character stay still a little bit more and i know what i'm doing and you can see more poses and more movements as we're going to see <laughs> when i want him to frantically move you can see him frantically move and the desk moving around these are not fastened down they're just like placed i think i put tape uh, on the bottom so there'll be a little bit of wiggling but that's fine <laughs> So that shot's finished, and the next shot, I just have this nice little pose. Very reminiscent of the pose that I did in the early years of the show when I used to do something that would require me to pose like that, hand on head and and hand on the desk. But it's classic, look at that. I wouldn't be able to properly do this without knowing the onion skin of, of the software. Just like pointing to myself, <laughs> this move. Then you go back to me here. Yeah, I think I'm standing way too tall here, but that's fine. This is me checking my surroundings, just so you know. And yeah, like I said, I, I went fully to digital mouths and eyelids. So when I did the uh, animation within the software, it, it would give me a folder of all the frames that I've captured. I would take those frames that I've captured that are still images into Toon Boom and then set up the uh, mouth movements and align it in every frame like that so I have to move this slightly move this slightly I like when it points to the camera went to up down ah this shot here so okay I was like here this is where I switch cameras because I think I used a webcam for this animation but when it comes to this shot I used uh, an iPod I think yeah the camera of my iPod touch and that's when I was like just moving it. I didn't need to onion skin. I just moved it around and just see if it came out well and just stop it there. I think I stayed still while I did this. And this is where I took, in this case, uh, non-drying clay and just make it move around. I wanted the episode to just be me dealing with clay because I haven't done anything clay related. Everything was like foam and wires and hot glue. They shot one image, then animate the mouth. Yeah. Sometimes I get those shots with just one still image. It helps. Believe it or not, it helps a lot. I think there's a problem with the focusing on the webcam. I forgot to like set the focus. I set it to autofocus. But look at this nice shot. This is a very nice shot. Nice and wide. This, I just made a spray can um, thing out of a disbendable tube. And uh, toilet paper roll. Yeah, this was like a wire with a foam padding tube on it. This is obviously done digitally. Same way I did with the mouse. I like how it went away. That's cute. That's some nice lighting. It flickers, but I, th I think that was just the LED lights and lamp lights I used. Oh. I got more. I didn't, when I had this set up, I just didn't want these to mix because they're nice colors and they don't dry so I can reuse them later. So I just didn't want to mix them. And I think I used a reverse shot, yeah. 
I don't know why it wobbled that far, like with this tool that I had I need to do that. Yeah, good shot. I was just just taking little piece by piece while I'm animating and it's gone. The next shot coming up is very dynamic. This one I think I yeah, by the looks of it, I either stop motion animated it or it was um No, that was Tomb Boom. Possibly. Alright, this is a felt mouth. No no I'm a foam mouth. This is a foam mouth, and because the, he doesn't need to talk throughout this uh, part of the episode, so I just put the sad mouth so I don't have to focus on putting the mouth digitally. Uh, this shot. So, there was a part in production where I took green poster paper, laid flat, took uh, the camera of my iPod Touch, placed it, you know, pointing down, and I just took Play-Doh. This is all Play-Doh, not um, non-drying clay, Play-Doh, and just animate like crazy, just... Just just take a wad, this big wad of clay and just animate to it. Just so move it around frame by frame. Click. I just move everything slightly. Click. Move slightly. Click. Move slightly. Click. Move slightly. Click. Move slightly. Click. 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 Doing that so many frames and not knowing when to stop. But I knew I just need to do it in about a couple of, like an hour or two. Oh my god. It, it put a strain on my back for, for a couple of hours because I was standing up and in this awkward position. Just moving clay around and pressing a frame. And that was that was this whole special effects sequence of this clay just turning into a big clay thing, just taking over the thing, you know. That had to be done in post. So yeah, that that's why it looks like that, and that's why it's taken over. I was like, okay, I made all this moving around, all of it by hand, but just touch all this, click, touch all this, click, touch all this, click, touch all this, click, 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 click. Yeah, over a thousand still images of this, and I imported them all into its own thing, export it as its own video file, and with the green screen, I, I took it away. But it was, still wasn't easy because the green poster paper wasn't green enough, and it wouldn't have it like this flat. So I, I think I, I took it and I redid the effect where I removed the green, only to have like a solid green image behind it to give it the green screen more green. You know? Here, you don't see it, but my arm is all holding all this. It's since, since this was... Um, going to be covered in clay I just held myself so my arm is, is hiding behind this giving it that wobbly look me just moving it around since nobody was going to see it uh, again I use the lighting so it's blue and you can see my little hand I'm really passing to myself literally while my other arm is just holding this thing still image and I was still animating like crazy I still had so much time out of this but uh, it did what I needed to do this explosion was like a, a transition effect of it where it would go from one scene to another but I found a way to just have it disappear by I think the next following thing be green so I could key it out and it would look like it disappeared. Now this one floating in the air is just a still image of me standing in the air. Yeah, this is this is a still image me in Tomb Boom. And the background is just one still background. And yeah, the fall I, I Tomb Boom animate the fall, so one keyframe here, one keyframe here, 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 and then boom, cut to stop motion me. Boom. And it worked well. I was surprised when I saw this together. It was like seamless. It really looked like I fell. Mmm, boop. So it, it was a really simple yet effective effect that worked surprisingly well. I was thankful to just animate myself not talking on this one. Oh. Yeah, this software helped me with, with a lot of things in stop motion I never got to do before. It wasn't perfect, and I would end up getting Dragon Frame, but um, for, for about three episodes, it came out really well. And that's all for this animation look through of 187 of The Sergio Show, the fourth stop motion special. I had a lot of fun making this, and I'm really glad that I can share this video with you and a couple more coming up. So, questions, comments down below. Follow me on social media. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, thank you very much. I am Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day. Oh yeah, I also lost the previous pen, so I had to make one out of 
uh, toilet paper roll, tape, and a marker. Okay. <laughs>